everyone, this is John. I'm in Costa Mesa. Uh, in my last video, I was actually uh, using this, uh, I rented this uh, Hasselblad camera, and I'm actually on the way to taking it back. And on the way, I still had one more roll of film that I wanted to use, but I couldn't think of anything to use it with in a timely manner, and I just, I didn't want to just waste it. Um, and on the way back, or on the way to drop off the camera, I saw, um, I remember there's a VW repair shop uh, in Costa Mesa, the sort of near where I was dropping off the camera. So I thought it'd be cool to just be able to walk around, photograph the cars. There's a lot of classic cars here that are really cool. And they've given me permission to photograph around and inside a little bit. So I actually have six shots left on the roll. I was playing around with it yesterday. Um, couldn't think of anything else to photograph, so I was kind of stuck. Anyway, so there's some cool cars here. Um, so I'm just gonna go around. Uh, the, the, the film is uh, a Cinestill uh, XX or XX, I'm not sure. It's black and white film. And I was having trouble finding out like what it is, because what's XX mean? And because uh, uh, I want to know the film speed, the main information for me. And uh, it's a 200 speed film that could also be used at ISO 250, as far as I understand. Maybe I'm confused. Um, it has a lot of latitude for pushing it in processing, which is something I've never done. So I'm not entirely sure what that is. So um, I have the, basically I'm, with my light meter, I have it set to ISO 200. So I'm operating with that as a base, uh, just as a clear understanding. So for this first shot, I'm set up for this uh, VW truck, I think it is. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's actually, it's like, it looks like a bus, but it's missing the back and it has a truck bed. So a bus truck, I don't know. I feel stupid. Anyway, so I'm set up. Uh, I like how it's jetted out a little bit into the, pointing out into the street uh, with the scene in the back. So it just uh, looks cool to me. So I'm set up, um, I metered at F8 and um, at 250th of a second, or 250th of a second, because um, really it showed uh, a shutter speed of, of 500. So I'm opening up a little bit because I want to get the shadows open a little bit and also uh, make the background uh, brighter just to highlight the car more. And so I'm set up, got to make sure the dark slide is out. And there we go. Let's give it a shot. So for this next shot, I found this VW bug that's parked between uh, two buses. And I like how the, just the headlights are poking out because to me it's like a characteristic of the bug. And I like how the, the hood's uh, been, the paint's been sanded off. And so it just looks cool. And I like how, I think it really lends, as well, lends well to the square format of this camera. Um, for focusing, I focused on the center, the handle for the trunk or the, the bonnet. I'm not sure what it's called in uh, proper car terms, but I know that the engine's in the back and the, the trunk's in the front. And I don't know if there's any junk in the trunk, Anyway, so I metered um, for the hood. Um, it's, it was saying at F8, uh, a thousandth of a second. So I opened it up to 500, plus this only goes to 500. So I wanted just to make sure I've got some uh, detail in the shadows. Um, so here we go. So I'm set up for this next shot. I thought since I'm using black and white film, it'd be cool to show shiny chrome because it's kind of perfect. Um, and this dark purple, I, I don't know how that'll translate on film, but I thought it would uh, have some nice contrast with the shiny chrome and the purple paint. Um, I set to F11 just to get that depth of field because the I'm focused on the wheel or the hubcap um, that's nearest to me, but I also wanted to get the the depth of field to go further back a little bit. So I'm at, I metered at F11 
and it was saying 500th of a second. So I put it to 250, I pushed it up a stop um, using the zone system. Um, I'm curious if I do 125, it would be a little better. But I'm gonna stick with 250, because um, there's some extremes here with the uh, contrast, the, the brightness of the shine on the hubcap. Um, so here we go. So when I pulled up, there was one uh, bus parked just inside the garage and it was cool being framed by the garage itself, but they just drove off with it. So I'm not sure if it's coming back or if it's gone. Um, but I'm asking if I can photograph inside. And if I do, I'm not gonna do any video in there just so I can be quick and out of the way. Just a lot, of, a lot of fun in that garage um, and I want to thank Auto West for letting me poke around in the garage for a little bit with some pictures and I just saw the original bus that I was going to photograph drive by to go back but I am officially out of film so that's it. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this camera. Um, I would love to have one myself. Um, I liked it because uh, overall because I don't really think about it. Like it, it's it's intuitive to use. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, it's not too heavy. Um, you know that, and that's something I really look for in a camera. So I'm not really thinking about the camera. Um, yes, it's a Hasselblad. You know, it's got a nice name. Um, you know, it's popular, all that kind of stuff. So it lives up to its name. So uh, I'm still I'm excited to see the pictures. You're actually seeing them. In this video, if you're watching this video, you're actually seeing them before I am. I don't know how that works in the time continuum, but anyway, I'm excited to see the pictures. Uh, so I'll probably rent this again as I save up to buy one for myself. And I wonder if renting it's better because uh, it make it make me more excited to use it. Uh, you know, as anything. It got me out of bed to get be excited about taking pictures um, and I only get 12 shots per roll so it makes me a little more choosy there's all that kind of stuff but anyway I really love this this uh, camera so if you have one kudos to you I'm also curious about a Bronica SQ because I like the square format it's just different and it's simple you know it's different from uh, my digital camera where it's um, the 4x3 or 3x2, I'm not sure, the, the rectangle shape. I, I love the, uh, I like the squared, it's different. And I'm rambling on and I gotta go. So, um, if you're into film photography, you might want to check out an app called Light Meter. I was going to show it to you on my phone, but for some reason I can't get my screen to record. Uh, go figure. Anyway, I uh, hope you like this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.